Okay, I yeah. can carry this, right? I can yeah. carry this in the field with me. Okay, that's easy. Huh? I that's easy. You. I can carry that for 20 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not too heavy. It's not too heavy, nah, so that's yeah. good. of critical communications Mina. it's actually a great day to be in Dubai today it's gonna to be again a sunny day and I hope it will be just as sunny on the exhibition floor as well come along with me This gentleman next to me is Arnaud Legrand. Um, yeah, that's, that's a French way of pronouncing it. Um, Arnaud right is, yeah, and it's the, right, it's the only way, is it Arnaud? Probably the only way. It's the only way. <laughs> oh my God, there we go. Um, Arnaud is uh, head of marketing uh, for the public sector here with Nokia. And Arnaud, you have a few of the uh, exciting items to showcase here at the booth of Nega, right? Absolutely. Can we take a look what, what's happening here? Yes, so let's get started with uh, what we call uh, deployable LTE. So this is, uh, in fact, a complete LTE network yes. that we put in a pretty compact format, which is a backpack that someone can take on, a, on its shoulders. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Can somebody take that on the shoulder? It can, yeah, 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 that's, that's happening. It's a bit heavy, yeah, yeah. Okay, I yeah. can carry this, right? I can yeah. carry this in the field with me. Okay, that's easy. Huh? I that's told easy. You. I can carry that for 20 kilometers. <laughs> Okay, it's not too heavy, it's not too heavy, nah, so yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so that's we have good. different formats. This one is really for, for that you can bring with yourself. Yes. We have a bigger format, which you can put into a car, into a vehicle, yes. that you can bring okay, to a certain stage. Okay. Why do you need this kind of, uh, of, of solution? It's because for public safety, you guys may, might have to operate in very remote areas, for instance. If you think about firefighters, they have to go in areas where there's no networks. Yeah. Okay. And so you have to bring your networks with you to be able to operate e efficiently in these areas. Okay. Ad hoc network you create instantly. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So it takes a few minutes to, to deploy the network. Yeah. And the beauty of the of the poly, of the solution is it embeds. It's not only the network. It embeds applications. So here we are having some group communications. Yes. So what is what is group communication? It's traditional communication for uh, for public safety officers. But obviously, we leverage broadband, that is to say that we have push to talk, but also push to video. Is, is it according to the 3GGP standard or any preparations so to it's, that or it's not? In, yeah, it's, it's because the standard is, was not fully finalized, yes. okay, or has just been finalized. So uh, it's pre-standard, but it will be, it's, it's compatible with the standard. That means we will be able to upgrade it to, to be fully compliant with the standard. And you're working with different manufacturers of radio, of... Uh, of, 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 of handsets, of, of exactly. Handsets? Exactly, so here you have different type of device. Some, for instance, such as this one, let me show you. This one, which is really fully, it's, which is fully organized, okay, and set. But you can also think of having more traditional smartphone yes. type of format. You so, guys work with Bitium as well, right? So I these phones are Bitium, yes. are Bitium phones. This is coming from TD Tech. This is coming from Cybertel. We could think of many others. Many others, exactly. Okay. So this is what we are providing, and so it's very simple. The architecture. Maybe we can show you. Or maybe okay. you can film it. You just press the button and yep. instantly, you know, you can see. All right, you. that's good. And you will be on the display over there. And yeah, so this is a mobile dispatch console. Okay. Up. Okay, so that's over a live LTE network right now? It's exactly, on? it's like, it's over LTE, everything is over LTE. So you stream videos live, real time. And obviously from that backpack through the backpack so the backpack okay. is providing the network the application so what's happening you have the dispatch console the guys are going in the field the, the, and, and there is someone staying there yeah. managing the network and having this mobile uh, dispatch console to control the operations which are ongoing in the field okay and that dispatch console can be in a car remotely in can a be field. in a car can be uh, yeah. yeah exactly you set up the pcs and yeah. uh, and that's it and 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 you see live what's what's going emergency on emergency workers sh should be very happy with all of this new technology is it absolutely it makes their life easier and more fun as well because they used to use their cell phones and the smartphones in a day-to-day -day life and now they use their same 
uh, type of radios, type type of phones. Exactly. In work. Yeah, that has never happened. It never happened before, so it's probably it's pretty new. Huh, I have to say, you know that there are not still lots of. Uh, public safety agencies that are using the LTE and the broadband exactly, technology. Yes. So, and that's very great because here we are on Nedabus, yeah. and Neda is one of the very front runner with regard to deployment of LTE for this kind of mission critical operations. This is a great, great experience working with Neda because we we will set up an innovation lab uh, together to test not only new public safety application but new smart city applications. I would love to see that man. Uh, that so we will invite you uh, when, it will be, when it will be when it will open. Okay. <laughs>